Welcome to Castroville, known as the Little Alsace of Texas, and also known for their gorgeous scenery and the great Texas Hill Country. All right, so if you're looking for a relaxing getaway and a place to rest your head, look no further than Hillside Boutique Hotel. It has all the modern amenities you could find in the city, but with a great Texas view. This boutique hotel is located at the top of the hill, just minutes away from downtown Castroville. It welcomes you with that warm, comfy feel that includes a spa plus hotel services. So to show us around, we met up with owner Jana Winkler. So in your own words, you've been here for a while now. So what do you think makes this Texas's biggest secret and best secret? Well, one is the view that looks completely over San Antonio and is breathtaking and beautiful. Yeah. People love to be photographed here. We have a ballroom, we have a restaurant, we have a spa, and we have hotel rooms, 38 hotel rooms. And it's just a really special place. Um, it's not a chain. It's special. It's everything's handcrafted and thoughtful, and um, it's on the edge of San Antonio, and it feels worlds away. It feels like you're far away from your troubles, far away from traffic. It's just a really beautiful place to reconnect with your friends and family. All right. So where are we right now? We are checking in to the hotel because uh -huh. you're going to stay here tonight. Yes, ma'am. And then this is our little gift shop. You can pick up a goodie for yourself or someone that you love. Gift your loved ones handcrafted items you cannot find anywhere else. Or just gift yourself with a personal massage and a day of pampering at their newly renovated day spa. I think the Swedish massage is the most popular for sure. And people love our scrubs too. We make our scrubs ourselves here. In addition to homemade scrubs, what's also made in-house are specialty cuisines by executive chef David Hill. This is our smoked brisket pot roast. We smoke it for about 14 hours and we serve it with root vegetables. They're seasonal. Right now we have parsnips in there, potatoes, nice carrots and a real rich demi-glace sauce to finish it off. Awesome. Topped with roasted tomatoes and micro celery. Real big celery punch at the end for that earthy, really high-end local Texas beef that we do uh, for steaks. Holy smokes. Yeah. That is delicious. No matter what you desire, Hillside Boutique Hotel has everything you need to fill at home with all the luxuries of a destination hotel. All right, so we're going to say good night to you because we have a full day tomorrow, and I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of all the amenities they have to offer. Good night, y'all. Good morning, y'all. I think it is a great time to hit the ground running, and our goal for today is to give you plenty of options to see and do right here in Castroville, starting with breakfast. Our first stop, Sammy's, a Castroville staple. So to get us started for the day, we met up with the City Chamber's Executive Director, Crystal Molina. I love Castroville because of the community. It takes a village is a firm belief around here. And that's why I love Castroville, because that's what you get out here. You get a lot of support. What would you suggest, what are some recommendations that you could do for a day trip? So if I were coming out here, never been here before, I would definitely stop here for breakfast or definitely need to stop by the Magnolia Filling Station. It's a new little coffee shop. After that, you would definitely, before you head to your final de destination, stop at Taste Elevated. Okay. It's a very unique, what I like to call grocery store. Oh. And then from there, I would go do a little bit of shopping. We have four different really unique boutiques. Um, and then maybe go enjoy a round of golf and some lunch on the golf course. Yeah. So there's lots of unique, interesting things to look at around here. As suggested, our next stop, Magnolia Filling Station, a quaint coffee shop highlighting the history of the town with mochas, apple chai lattes, chocolatey cold brews, and of course, baked goods. Different muffin every day for sure. Um, now our barista is also a baker, and so she bakes something super fun. There's some cookies in there um, as big as your face, really. Top seller? Yeah. It's a top seller. Um, this lemon poppy is, is something that we've had people come from Del Rio for. They want the lemon poppy. Mmm, wow. Perfect combination for a day like this. And just a hop, skip, and a jump away, 
is Southern Creek Boutique. Okay, so from mochas to maxis, you could do a lot here in Castroville, and it's all just a quick stroll away from each other, which brings us to Southern Creek Boutique. I actually got this dress here, and uh, it's so cute. I think I need to find some more. Let's go. Southern Creek Boutique features stylish women's clothing and must-have accessories, as well as candles and car scents made right there in the store. Um, basically what they are is they come on a string uh -huh. and they hang in your car. Uh -huh. um, and they usually the smell will last you about three to four weeks. They're heat activated, so the hotter that it is, the better they're gonna smell and your car is gonna smell amazing. And believe it or not, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are exploring a town like no other in the Texas Hill Country. It's a place called Castroville. And next up on our trip is Taste Elevated, a local shop that'll really get your taste buds dancing. I like to say this store is kind of a hobby. I love wine and cheese, so why not have my own selection at my breach at all times. Right. But Taste Elevated, we're really a specialty food manufacturer. Okay. So we have a commercial kitchen in the back of the building okay. um, where we, by woman power, manufacture all kinds of spreads. We have about 32 products and then we distribute them all over the United States, coast to coast. Um, the whole idea behind this is a lot of our products pair very well with cheeses and charcuterie. I just think it's such a trendy thing, yeah. um, and so many people are intimidated by making their own at home, and yeah. there's really nothing to it. So the whole idea behind a really pretty charcuterie board is all about color, first okay. off. So you want to have your greens, your bright reds, your oranges, your whites, and then obviously you need charcuterie, which for those of people who don't know what charcuterie is, it's just a very fancy word for cured meats. Okay, so, good, because I never knew what it was. Yeah, I was just like, a cheese, it's a cheese meat board. Yeah. That's what it so is. So the word charcuterie is actually the meats on the board, okay. and it's just become an umbrella term for these boards that you order at restaurants. Right, right. But the actual charcuterie refers to the meat. Awesome. So, okay, okay, so let's move on over because this is what I, the my fun eyes part. Yeah. really were drawn to. <laughs> so we make these things called booze time cherries. They're just simply cherries that are brined in brandy and amaretto. So they make really great old fashions. They're great on desserts. But what we have here today is just some Prosecco with the cherries in the bottom of the glass and a little bit of juice in there because it's just a pretty presentation. Awesome. And for those wine drinkers who are used to drier are sweeter wines and not really used to a dry wine it's a little spoon of the cherry juice to sweeten it up, uh, sweeten it up a little bit and then it's just kind of fun and festive too mm, Good. yeah that's awesome from chutneys salsas pestos and spreads elevate your next gathering with one of these party favorites and no trip is completely complete without a visit to the Greens. Tee off at the Alsatian Golf Club and up your game with a lesson from the pros. So what we like to do is we like to line up this line right here. Okay. Where you want to aim the putt. Ah, that makes okay. sense. Now this line right here on this putter, Uh huh. you want to match that to that. Okay. 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 Just get comfortable. Okay. And then just, yeah, just hit a putt. All right. Ooh, that was close. No! Oh, uh, you got both sides now, so this one's got to be the one. Okay. Oh, just a little left. All right. All right, so let me take a breather before no I get problem. too competitive with myself and no get problem. angry. All right, so tell us a little bit about this course. What's the difficulty? Uh, we do have 18 holes here. Uh, a little bit unique. Uh, we do have a front 10 and a back 8 here. Usually golf courses are a 9 and 9 uh -huh. traditionally. Yeah. Um, but. It's about 6,400 yards from the tips. Um, the thing that's great about our course is all levels of play can play here. Perfect. It's a great experience to enjoy with buddies and just have a good time. Awesome. So you have the golf course, you have the restaurant, you also have a pro shop. So if you forget anything. Hey, we got you covered. Perfect. We got Perfect. you covered. All right, I'm going to give this one more shot. Sure. Line it up. And about right there. Okay. Stroke it. Boom. Just like that. Holy moly. All Just right. Just like that. I'm retiring. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it. All <laughs> no right. No problem. We're leaving now. <laughs> As the day comes to an end, wind down with a bite to eat and a cold one at Cora's 471 Grill. Good evening, everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome out to Cora's. Y'all ready to have a little bit of fun at the Nacho Opry? 
Okay, so we have one more stop here in Castroville, and we cannot leave without coming to Cora's. It's not only a staple here in town, it's also known to have the best nachos in Texas. Located on the farm to market road 471, just outside of Castroville, Cora's is an all time favorite in town. Cora Burl started us back in 1932. Wow. Can you believe that? Um, <laughs> I tell everybody I remember the day we opened, but obviously that's <laughs> a little bit of a fabrication. But, uh, you know, it, it, we tried to stay true to Cora Burl's original uh, concept, and that was, you know, to make everything in house and make everything home, homemade and fresh. Cora's is a historic eatery where you can visit with friends and take a step back in time with a delicious meal. We're definitely serving our fourth generation, and I think the fourth generation is having the fifth generation, and they're bringing them in here. So, I mean, right. that's a lot of history right there. Right. You know, so I, I think it's the history, no doubt about it. Absolutely. Yeah. From their fun family environment to their top selling nachos, Cora's is not just any restaurant, it's a true family tradition. I think you can say we've had ourselves a great day here in Gastroville. It is the perfect getaway just minutes away from the big city. So if you're looking for a place to eat, shop, stay, and play, Gastroville is definitely the way to go. Cheers, y'all. For more information on the places we visited today, click on Gastroville.com.